The menu was sort of marketed as a horror movie, which I think is a bit unfair given how the movie plays out, because I think a lot of people just won't give it a chance because they don't think that they could stomach it. <laughs> oh, why? Why did I write that? Let's just get into the review. A young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. The movie stars Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, Hong Chow, and John Leguizamo. I'd been hearing a lot of buzz about the menu and so much that I was, I was trying to make plans to go see it uh, over the holiday season, but it was, you know, it's very busy. It's a very busy time for me. So uh, when I actually saw that it was coming to HBO Max on January 3rd, I was actually very, very happy and, and actually a bit relieved because I didn't have to, you know, slough off some of the, uh, the things that I had to do. After seeing the movie, I was a bit confused as to how to, how to put this in a genre, you know? This, on IMDb, it's listed as a comedy horror thriller, which I think encapsulates it but i was really really surprised at how funny this movie was um and not in a way that ever dissolves any of the tension set up by what the the story is trying to get across for a lot of reasons that i'm not entirely clear on myself comedy rarely works for me like you know there, there are people that say oh yeah this movie that comes out it's the funniest movie of the year and i'm like i don't even crack a smile i don't know what's wrong with me um maybe it's because I am really interested in comedy, and when I see what I feel is to be, you know, sort of lazy comedy or 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 obvious comedy, it just doesn't work for me. And and that's why, I like, you know, movies like the Marvel movies or even some of the jokes in the Star Wars movies, you know, when people say, "Oh, wow, I was really bent out of shape about that. It doesn't belong," and I'm like, "Well, I didn't think it was funny either, but I, no, I don't think much is funny. I don't know why. I, I don't know why that is, but for some reason." This movie clicked with me in many ways, and I laughed out loud by myself. I'm watching this movie by myself, laughed out loud multiple times during this movie. This is mostly a single location type of film, and I always really seem to enjoy those. I don't know why that is, but I, I really dig it when you've got all of these different characters and they're forced to interact. You know, you're, they're, they're, you know, you, you know who the players are, you, you get in there and you just see how things work between all of these different characters. I really enjoy that. Um, I feel like in a lot of cases, uh, things really, really worked here. And then there were some that just didn't quite work for me. Like I was like the business guys, why were they there? I don't, I don't, I still don't, I'm still not clear on that. I'll say that I'm a bit of a foodie. Um, I'm not like, you know. I don't play it with such care and all that kind of stuff, but, but, you know, I, I, I do enjoy it. And I used to watch a lot of like food network and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I've largely kind of outgrown it and there's, I found that there is a growing and, and maybe it's not a growing pretentiousness, but I feel like there's a lot of pretentiousness when it comes to, uh, like the major chefs and all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm just not into that. I'm into, you know, good flavors and all that kind of stuff. But I will say, the way that this movie is shot, there is a care that I think is really well done. And there is a beauty to the presentation. I, I will admit that, you know, when it comes to food, it, it can be beautiful. But this is shot with a care and a uh, almost an almost nod to those kinds of shows or those kinds, you know what I'm saying? It, it looks like it could be on TV, you know, as one of these shows showing off some some chef's masterworks. The acting is really superb across the board. Uh, I really enjoyed John Leguizamo's character. Um, he's he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of interesting things to his character, and and I just think I don't know. I it's probably the most I've liked John Leguizamo in a long time. Uh, I didn't find him distracting at all. That's usually how I find him unfortunately. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think he's, he's utilized really, really well here. And Nicholas Holt is one of those actors who I'm always rooting for. I don't, I don't know what it is about him, but every time I see him in a movie, I'm hoping that he does really, really well. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess I just like the guy, but I think he does a, a, a good job with what he's given to do here. 
Now, Hong Chao is not exactly your household name, but every time you see her, she is playing a part that is, is she's, she does a great job. I, I really enjoyed her work here. And of course, Anya Taylor-Joy, I mean, is it, is it any surprise that Anya Taylor-Joy is, is great in it? Um, there are, there are parts to her character that, that seem not as fleshed out as I would have liked, but, uh, for the most part, I think she did a great job. But the star here is Ray Fiennes, and I don't know about you, but Ray Fiennes has been one of those actors that I've been just enamored with for a very, very long time. Ever since I saw him in Schindler's List, which is, I know is probably a strange choice, but he, he does such a good job in every movie that he's in. He plays a, a myriad of different roles. You know, he's done like heavy drama, he's done some action, he's done comedy, and I think he's he's just he's great in all of it and uh of course the grand budapest hotel if you haven't seen that um he is he is so good in that and he's so funny a, a short little stint in hail caesar which one of my favorite scenes of that whole movie that he's in with uh with alden ehrenreich um but yeah he's he's fantastic here he plays the chef with a with a seriousness that that you expect but then with a a a soft underbelly kind of in a way and and there's just there's so much to his character and i really enjoy seeing him play these or say some of these uh i would say comedic things in a st straight deadpan way i i just i i really enjoy ray fines so it was kind of a no-brainer that i was going to watch this movie Overall, I think the movie is very, very entertaining. Um, I still think that there was, I felt like there was a message that they were trying to convey and I'm not sure I got it. I felt like the whole movie was, was sort of leading to a big, hey, this is how people should act when it comes to food. I don't know. It just, it felt, uh, I don't know. It just didn't come across to me that there was a, a greater meaning or a greater thing that they were trying to to say here but still i enjoyed the movie i really did and uh i think it's i think it's recommended especially if you have hbo max i don't think it would have made my top of 2022 if i had seen it in 2022 but uh, i still think that it's definitely worth a watch so the menu have you watched this movie yet um if not go check it out on hbo max it's really good um but yeah i'm, I'm curious to know what you think of it uh, let's talk about it down below. I mean, of course, I think Ray Fiennes is one of the best actors of the last 30 years. So as far as I'm concerned, he should be in that conversation. I mean, he may not be the top dog, but he's way up there and always enjoy his work. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.